Clayton started complaining of, of pain in the middle of the night on a Thursday and missed school that Thursday. Actually, it was like 3 in the morning, Thursday morning. He told me, and this whole thing has been around him speaking up and having a voice. And, and he had uh, a burst appendix that he had uh, removed on Friday night. And then within 24 hours, he was vomiting profusely, had terrible diarrhea, high fever of 102, and then they did a CT scan and they did immediate surgery on his bowel. There was an abscess on his bowel. We were in, re in ICU for quite a few days and then they ended up um, sending us home. And we were home for nine, 16, hours. 16 hours. We went home at four o'clock in the afternoon. By the next day, his pain in the morning was every three minutes at a level 10 and he was like, I need to go back, there's something wrong. And we went back and they ran tests, put him back in the NG tube, and then they said the, next, the following morning they were gonna do a third surgery. And that's when I said, I want to be taken out of here and go to UC Davis. And so they arranged it and we came here by ambulance and yeah, we were yeah. here for a day and then they did surgery, which was pretty scary, it was five hours and they removed a foot of his uh, lower intestine and he had a blockage and it was twisted and um, they removed that and we had wonderful care in the ICU and then we got on this floor and have completely enjoyed all the nurses. It has been, it's been great. It's been, yeah. I have five kids and so to be able to, in my own business, so to be with him for 33 days, it's brought us closer and I think we've never said why why is this happening? We've just said there's got to be something behind it. We need to learn something from this. And we've had friends come down from Mount Shasta three and a half hours away and visit him. And he made it. I'm so happy he made it.